Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome back to Realm of the Mad God with me, Shatov, and Brain Turds here with me. Yep, and we're back on our good 8 out of 8 original characters. Yeah, I'm playing on Wizard, he's playing on Priest today. Um, so a lot, a lot of changes have happened in Realm over the last month. Um, as most of you probably know, cursed amulets uh, were put into the game, and then now they don't work at all. So, um, yeah, a the amulet was effectively removed from the game. Uh, and, and yeah, it's it's probably a good thing because permadeath is back, but I mean. A lot of a lot of people have lost their characters and stuff. Actually, um, that brings me to <laughs> what is Honey Badge doing? That brings me to my next point. Uh, since Permadeath is back, I think it's probably a good idea to review my uh, sort of tips and rules on survival in realm especially in godlands um looks like honey badge is doing doing a giveaway for an elder robe that's pretty cool in this video totally uh off topic but it looks like honey badge is going to ask a question and the first person to answer gets a free elder robe so yeah that's good <laughs> stuff i guess but that means, I don't know, I guess Honey Badge is going to have to stay online after I post the video. Or you just take the Elder Robe from me. Yeah, I, I, well, somebody, he said the winner's going to have to send him a tag. Anyways, I'm just farming Godlands right now. So, let's get back to the rules of survival, or tips, tips slash rules to survive. Um, Tip number one, don't die. No, uh, the first tip is to have a nexus threshold and stick to it no matter what. So your nexus threshold would be like a certain, and I've already gone over these before, so if you've heard these in my old episodes, just it's just a review for anybody who hasn't seen it. Um, oh, Nightmare. Oh, uh, I'm at a Sphinx. Uh, Nightmare is definitely better than Sphinx. Well, tell me if there's a... Haunted Cemetery. And, well, I guess I should show you guys the new. I don't know where it went The new uh, mob. Oh, it probably died. I don't think so. Look like it just took off. Well, tell me if you find it again. Any loot? Probably not. And uh, the priest, the nexus threshold thing can be a little different because you have your heal, of course. But you still need to take in mind if quieted or out of MP. So I guess you guys might have to que catch the question Honey asks because Honey's just sort of uh, sending me random tells and stuff. Sorry, Josh. What did you say? Nothing. Brain dirt. It was to them, not to you. Uh. About priests and their nexus special. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, the Nexus Threshold. Thanks for getting me back on topic. Uh, you should have a certain value of HP or a certain percentage of your HP where you uh, where you teleport to Nexus no matter what. So, okay. So the question is, how many shots does Medusa fire, not counting the bomb, and how much damage does the bomb do to Zero D? All right, those are that's, that's the question. Easy. It's a pretty easy question, and uh, anyhow, the nexus threshold is pretty much ooh a value that you set. So for me, I'd say it's about three or four hundred, and whenever I get that low, I go to nexus no matter what, uh, and even if I have like some loot at a cube god or a skull shrine uh, if 
if I'm in trouble and I need to nexus, uh, that's that's what you got to do. And since yeah, since permadeath is back on, um, I, I you'll see me playing a lot more carefully, pretty much back to my old style of gameplay. And uh, but there are more like like things that go into the nexus threshold kind of because it also somewhat depends on how fast you take damage because if you take half of your health in one bullet dude no no see that's the thing that's how you're gonna die right and yeah except, well oh yeah i guess it depends on uh location like what if you're in a tomb you might set your nexus threshold a little higher during some phases or something um but mostly these rules are for godlands they they sort of extend to the rest of realm and i mean they do they they do in most cases uh however i've seen experienced players die in tombs and uh i mean there's some places in the game where something can happen that is totally unexpected and you die it's permadeath i mean it does happen but besides that if you set a good nexus threshold and you're good at sticking to it you should probably only die from instant kill, instant kill type things. Yeah. Uh, now, my second tip is uh, teleporting. So this is mainly applies again to Godlands and dungeons. Well, honestly, it's not as big now. Now that Godwalls are gone, it's not quite as big. Okay, that's true. Because when Godwalls were here, you could teleport and just like slide off your teleporting location straight into Godwalls, basically. But or you just teleport into like a five times Medusa model, which there aren't like five Medusas in one group. Well, there still are. I mean, it's not as common, Army. but there still are. Yeah. So, or it's pretty common. So when you teleport, you've got to be just uh, extremely careful. Basically, teleporting into Godlands and teleporting in some dungeons is some of the dangerous, like most, most dangerous, most easy, most common way people die is... I think especially new players would be teleporting into Godlands. So it's a uh, first off rule number 1 is you don't TP to rogues and that is for especially si solo rogues. But that is for uh for two reasons. They can be very deep and just about to cloak or just came uncloaked and you can teleport into almost instant kills. Second, if you do that you can even kill the rogue that you're teleporting to, which is pretty unfriendly and disrespectful in this game to kill rogues. Uh, now, let's see. You also should not TP to. Uh, ooh, I need to get in a sprite world if there is one. You also should not TP to melee, small groups of melee, or single knights running through Godlands. Um, or if somebody's right on top of a cube god or skull shrine, you don't want to TP to them. Uh, you don't want to TP to really small groups of melee, like maybe two or three knights and warriors in Godlands. That can be really dangerous as well. Even if it's at like a pentaract, it can be totally deadly. So when you're doing, uh, when you're teleporting into Godlands, basically you have to be super careful. Um. Yeah, and also I hard just letting you guys know I hardly follow. Hey, could you heal, Brain? So, yeah, with the teleporting rule, uh, I think it's important to follow it all the time. Well, uh, the, the 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 second aspect of the teleporting rule is you should have your finger like on the nexus button like oh, I do that ready to go so when you teleport the first thing you should decide when you land is if you need to nexus and if you don't then you're fine and you can walk make a move or whatever but the very first thing you need to do undead layer dude cool the where the very first thing you need to do is determine whether or not you're in a safe spot and hit nexus if you need to to avoid instant kill and I mean 
you need to be ready to hit Nexus instantly on teleport so that you really can, if you're not lagging, um, Nexus out of a bad teleport. Uh, let's see. So that brings me to another point. You shouldn't play with lag. So for me, that's not really a rule. That's kind of an unsaid rule. It goes along with the teleporting, sort of. Because if you teleport when you're lagging, you can actually float at the location that you land uh, without like seeing your screen. You'll still be loading in, but you can actually sort of take damage for split seconds. Are you alive? Dude, you need mana? Yeah. Here. I only have one, so get it. Cool. So, uh... So yeah, if you're lagging, you can teleport to death. Um... What else? Yeah, so for, for me, I lag if my ping is greater than 100 milliseconds or if my download speed is less than 2 megabytes per second. Subtext. So I would say uh, I would say those are pretty good standards. 100 milliseconds ping is too much and less than 2 megabytes per second download is uh, too low. So you shouldn't play when you're internet connection has those conditions. Um, is that it? Oh no, you don't want to teleport to a priest at a cube god or skull shrine or sometimes other places. They can be totally deadly, especially, I mean like maxed priests with uh, holy protection tomes. They can go just as deep as knights and rogues. So. That's that's rule number two, I think. That basically sums it up. Teleporting is dangerous, and you should be extremely careful. Um, now, rule number three is pretty much simple. It's to remember every time you died, and don't die like that again. So... I think that's pretty straightforward, but it's still really important. So a lot of people, I don't think, learn from their deaths as much as they should. So if you die during a uh, Septavius battle because you were circling and you ran through all of its, uh, ran through all of its like armor break bullets. For an example, don't let that happen again. Another example, if you're in a sprite world, you know, and you're trying to get your loot and you die by the beams falling on you, don't let that happen again. So, those sort of things, you just, you can easily avoid a death that you've already gone through. And this doesn't really protect you from dying, but it protects you from dying in the future in the same way that you died. Um, in the past. So for instance, I died, I broke my first amulet ever uh, at Lord Ruthven trying to protect somebody who was covered in bats and Ruthven spawned on me. So at that point, I, uh, yeah, I am AFK. At that point, Every time I fought Ruthven after that, and I fought him a lot after that. Actually, I went like two weeks just going after Manners to take out Ruthven because he made me mad. But uh, I did not do the bat phase, basically. I, I just sit in the hallway and uh, do Ruthven the 100% safe method. And yeah, kill him. Kill him like in the clean style that. I would, and I would never, ever, and I've been in situations where I've seen people go do the bat phase and get totally, totally screwed over, and, uh, and I have not taken a step to go help them, because I'm, I'm not about, about to do that again. Well, yeah, I know, it's dumb to just even move in with a wizard to try to save somebody. It's like, 
I, I literally went to sit on him to take damage for him, and then it was like, stump break when Ruthven spawned. But, anyways, um, that's it. That's the basic rules. Yeah. Those are the three rules of survival. If you follow them, uh, you should you should do a bit better in Godlands on surviving. It, that's if you have problems. Uh, if you have your own strategies, you know, feel free to even share them in the comments. That'd be great if we could get some other people's input on a. Uh, Why am I following what, Honey Badger right now? He's insane. What kind of? Yeah, dude, don't. You're gonna die. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm a priest. Alright. I will TV to you. Honey is being ridiculous. Well, I usually rush, but that's a bit dangerous to rush straight past mom. Because yeah, also, I don't rush unnecessarily anymore. Um, I do in places like So, I you will see me clearing ocean trenches. You will see me uh, uh, to honey. clearing UDLs. Uh, Etc. Oh, he's here now. So, like, one time I died to Septavius by circling too close, and I didn't know the phases. It was when I was really starting out, sort of, and I didn't know the phases, and so, uh, Yeah. Oh, wait, did Honey drop a... Oh, okay. I was going to say, if that's a whiz, you better pick that up. I dropped two HP pots. Because I don't need HP. Oh, and I took oh, all that. Oh, oh, oh. I was hoping to get, like, a fake loot bag in this video. Because I do have a tip. Uh, oh, oh. Honey reminded me that I should mention... So, I know everybody's probably pretty, pretty much aware that the like loot bag glitch problem so you can you can pick up a loot bag oh man I just realized your computer's too loud sorry about that you guys brain turd's computer's been too loud this whole episode I don't know where I'm going either um alright realm closed I guess Honey Badge is doing a WC. So let's record through it, I guess. Yeah, and then that'll probably... Uh, yeah, that'll probably sum up the episode. Yeah, yep. It's been a pretty good episode, I have to admit, it seems like. Well, I hope it uh, could help somebody. I hope my computer wasn't just being super loud. How did I get the pyramid ring? It was a gift from uh, my buddy Fitty Diddy, I think. A while ago, long time ago. Um, yeah, so I'm sure everybody knows about that loot bag problem where you can grab your loot and then actually have it uh, not be in your inventory when it looks like it is. Now, there's a way to actually get your loot if that happens and know if it happened. So. If you pick up a loot bag, hmm, that's interesting. They probably are. That's a hack, I think. Obviously, Ooh. Honey said somebody's looking at his inventory. Uh, they do it by ha using some hacked client. I don't know. I've had people do that to me before. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. That's stupid. Man, what was I... Where was I at? Um, oh! So you can fix the loot bag thing. Alright, if you pick up loot... And you see... Uh, maybe somebody sent him a tell. And you see that... The loot bag is still on the ground... Uh, it means that you got a phony item. Now you can still pick up the loot bag if you put it back into the bag in the exact same spot it was in and then pick it up again. 
as long as the loot bag disappears, you should have the real item. And you can, like, trade somebody to check. So, I wanted that to happen, but it's sort of random. I don't know how to repeat it. But, yeah. Just so you know, you, you can... You can still get your loot. Just don't shoot anything and you'll be fine. It happens when you switch weapons and shoot something, because then the server thinks you have like a a weapon that's doing something it shouldn't be, because it didn't register your switch, I think. But yeah, there's a lot of bugs right now, and they're pretty well documented at this point. There was a nice thread that somebody made, um, was it Rem, I think? that has almost almost all the bugs documented so hopefully they just fix it at this point ooh I'm sorta of lagging dude it's a good thing I have like infinite HP because uh... that HP stacking thing those are some other updates that have happened and uh... I'm sorry guys that I haven't recorded much this month I've been like crazy busy oh my god Whoa. I was not paying attention. What hallway are you? Final? No, or yeah, the final part of our side. Ah, ah, oh, oh. So yeah, sorry that I haven't recorded much. I've been super busy and uh, just haven't had the chance, but I'll be trying to get some more videos in soon. Which hallway are you in? Or are you in the courtyard yet? Um, no, I'm in the final hallway. Not final hallway, final hallway is not in the courtyard. Because somebody just broke my door for me. Sweet. Hey, buddy. Alright, let's go. Kill him? Yeah. We need to kill these statues. They're yeah, they're being retarded. Uh, excuse me. Excuse my language. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so a couple other things they've added is the HP MP pot stacking, which, in my opinion, makes the game uh, sort of like pretty easy. And if you don't know, you can go to tutorial and run it over and over again and get uh, 9 HP pots, 9 MP pots. So you don't have to like buy them. So I just stock up, like, I'll probably stock up with my wizard soon in tutorial because he's getting low. But it really, I think it really makes the game a lot, a lot more easy than it's supposed to be because you can just drink tons of HP and MP and all the classes are off balance and yeah it's just weird now but they should they should I don't know I guess some people like it but I think it just oh, makes it too man. easy I don't know I'm just shooting I'm, I'm talking and stuff Also, I've got another Let's Play I've been working on, and I'll uh, I'll post a video. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll start that soon. And yeah, if you guys could check it out, that'd be cool. It's of a different game, so I hope you guys uh, don't mind too much. And if you hate it, just yeah, just don't, just ignore those and. Keep an eye out for the realm videos. But, um. Yeah. Double D. Double? Oh. Yeah. Nice. I was for, no, Assassin was the first one there. So, yeah, HP pot stacking. Um. They added backpacks, which I, I did buy one for my wizard. And then, uh, what else? 
Um, new dungeon. It's like the graveyard. They've got some like seasonal Thanksgiving stuff going on. But I would say, whoa. I would say, uh, I wasn't expecting that stun. You all right? I almost died, basically. What happened? I went past my nexus threshold for having <laughs> no MP, so and I tried to stay for a bit, but I got you got too sketchy. That was scary. I got so messed up because of that stuff. Well, I'm glad you uh, made it out. We we can't have a brain turd gravestone that big anywhere. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Um. See, I could probably do a tips to surviving Oryx video sometime soon too, if anybody thinks that would be helpful. I don't know how many people actually die in Oryx. I think the main real tip is don't do any fades you don't know how to do. Yeah, definitely. I don't dance. I never danced before. They buffed Oryx, and I still don't dance now. So. Yep. And I like to be at about 45 degrees when I'm fighting Oryx. It helps me aim, I think, with my spell ball. Whoa! And avoid ninjas at all costs, because ninjas are horrible. But that's obvious. I don't mean the class, I mean these roller skater guys. I don't even know what they're actually called. I'm sure it's not ninja or roller skater, though. Dude, what are you doing? It's oh, it is. It's a good name, probably. Ugh. I've got a bad feeling. about this WC I just uh, I've been doing a lot of WC's on my mystic so I've been rushing with that and I think I've only done one on wizard since since the amulet was removed from the game I'm doing decent so far so rushing is fairly easy. Woo! Woo! Get going. Oh, go, go, go! Go, go, go! Alright. Yeah, fairly small WC. So just killing Oryx. This guy needs HP, somebody does. Whoa! Oh my god! Yeah, I almost backed into the hallway though. That was spooky. Bro, 
probably survive it. Uh, I had like three of the minions. Is that the gray guy? Like on all sides of me. It's kind of spooky. But, um, and uh, I, I should say, I want to say rest in peace to uh, my friend Little Cinder's priest that I heard died recently. It was a pretty old priest, I think almost, or maybe older than my wizard, I'm not even sure. But it's pretty unfortunate. I'm not sure how he died, I just heard about it. What is Honey Badge doing? I'm up to 59 base fight on my night. Woo! 59 base? Yeah. Damn. I'm at, I think, 70 on my night now. How'd you get so much buy? Um, probably events. I haven't really been doing Abyss much. Ow, ow. Drunk makes my screen lag. I think it does the same for other people too. But. Yeah, after this O2, I think uh, it'll definitely be the end of this episode. He's getting pretty close to rushing. Whoa, honey badge. Don't die in there. I don't want to see a big honey honey badge gravestone either. How max is this character? Um, that one's probably 70. He has an 8 8, I think. An 8 8, uh, priest. I don't understand how people rebuild so fast. Like, Cinder already had another priest fully. Oh, well, Cinder is, uh. Yeah, he's like. He's a rich pro from, like, the 90s or something. Yeah, but didn't Honey recently die, too? No, not his 8-8. He's had that 8-8 for a while. Not the 8-8, but like on his wizard or Maybe. Whatever he's playing at the moment. Oh, I don't... Maybe he just made a new character. Man, I'm drunk. I hate it. I know if I died on one of my characters, it would take me like a month to rebuild him, probably. Unless I sold a bunch of my stuff. Alright, it's rush phase. Whew, thank god that wasn't an honey badge. I am drunk. Oh no! Sick and slowed! Ow. Get me out of this corner and get that priest out of his, his corner. So during this phase, you should try to avoid getting hit by weeks. Whoa, honey badge. Because weeks last for like ever against O2 at this phase. I'm gonna go get 9 pot. Sweet. Dead. Whoa. Oh my god. Ellie Dedo. Ellie Dedo? Yeah, dude. Keep one of those in place of your speed. Oh my god. <laughs> What? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'll donate, of course. Oh my god, that is crazy.
I think I'm pretty sure that's my first E Dedo drop. Oh, dude, you don't get free HP pots. You're wrong. I'm pretty sure. In tutorial. Yeah. Let me show you. Did they take it out? Yeah, they took it out. No, they didn't. It's genius. They did not take the. F There's no HP pot. You've got to be kidding me, dude. Why are you so mad? <laughs> Dude. There's none. That's gotta be a joke. So I'll kill this chicken. Two more chickens. Two more chickens. HP pot. Wait, HP you can get pot. Them chickens. Duh. So they didn't they don't drop them at the end there either? So you mean you can't get MP then? Oh. So you get HP by killing the chickens? Well, I mean, you can. I thought there was also like a place where it had to pump before that you could just pick it up. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. So this is how you, yeah, you get HP still. Oh. I thought you meant mine. So this is how you restock on HP and MP. I'm killing chickens. Well, wait, if any of you didn't know, chickens? don't buy them. They're right here for free. Do you not get them from chickens? Uh, you get... You get them from the two chickens at the end. Oh. Those two. Alright, guys. It only takes one tutorial run. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll have... I think the next video I upload is going to be a giveaway. So, make sure you check it out. And then I'll have uh, another episode of Realm Up. And some uh, new Let's Play of a different game. And hopefully you guys will think it's cool. And I, I appreciate all the support. Sorry it's taken so long for this video to come up. I've just been crazy busy this month. But thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for the likes, all the comments, all that. See you guys next time.